that's a really fun part about my job, that it's not the same thing every day. You get to see anything from a rice field to a cattle ranch to hay baling. Arkansas has such a wide variety of agriculture in the state that we get to cover all of it. I always carry a pair of boots in my, in my yeah. car with me because I don't know, usually I wear shoes that I can't wear out on the farm, so I just carry a pair of boots with me because I don't know where I'm going to end up. So I grew up in Wynn, Arkansas in Cross County and I was involved in agriculture somewhat just because of the community I grew up in. It's a big farm community and my family was involved in agriculture. But going through high school, I really didn't think that I wanted to be involved in agriculture. I thought I could do um, bigger things in a bigger city and help the world in a better way outside of agriculture. So I went to college at the University of Arkansas as a broadcast journalism major. And the first semester, I realized that's probably not what I wanted to do. So I switched to um, business and realized in um, a semester that I couldn't pass an economics course and I'm very lucky that my dad is my mentor and so he told me he was like you know take a step back think about where you're from think about what you love and what you know and I immediately just thought of agriculture it's what I grew up around it's um, the community that I feel comfortable with and so my first semester junior year I took an ag communications course and I called my dad as soon as my first class was over and I was like, I'm changing my major. My junior year of college, I started my third major, Agricultural Communications in the Bumpers College and it stuck. It's what I fell in love with. So after I graduated college in 2015, I was set on moving to Little Rock. I didn't want to move home quite yet and found a job at Hendricks College. It wasn't agriculture related, but I worked in their marketing communications office and I can say that was the perfect job for me uh, coming out of college because I, I knew the ag side of things, but I wasn't as comfortable with myself with photography and social media and writing as I should have been. So that gave me two years to focus on those skills and I really honed in on that. And then a job at Arkansas Farm Bureau Federation came up as their social media coordinator and I jumped all over it. I spent two years there and managed their social media platforms and also coordinated the Farm Family of the Year program. And after two years there, I'm here at Greenway Equipment as the marketing manager. As the marketing manager at Greenway, my day varies every day. Some days I'm in the office all day working on social media posts, graphic design, photography. Uh, since I've been at Greenway, I've been out on farms doing video shoots, and I've also been running around to our locations to meet with the location managers, see what their marketing needs are, creating brand awareness for the whole organization. So, could be on a farm, could be out in a rice field, or I could be on my computer doing graphic design. Agriculture has such a wide variety of needs. It's not just farming. It's not just driving a tractor. We need students who are intelligent in technology, in communications, in photography, in graphic design, in STEM, in so many different fields that a lot of people don't even realize that are in the agriculture industry. There are so many different ways to work in agriculture. You can work in the agriculture community in the city. You can work in the agriculture community on the farm. I've worked in the agriculture community from the city, and that's been in just the communications field, but we need STEM, we need technology, we need the banking, we need the financial perspectives for agriculture. It's such a changing industry that we need the new students coming in to help us out. Let me think. <laughs> Okay, but I can I can I can come up with some stuff.